Rob here, uh, and we're doing the news live from Cannes. I'm here with the lovely Lisa Giancosa, who's the Global Chief Investment Officer at Spark Foundry in New York City. Hey, Lisa. I am, indeed. Yeah, you to you see made you again. it. You made it. I did make it. Yeah. How was your trip over? It was good. I, I managed to convince a lot of people I was traveling with, including my CEO, that we should all take hand luggage only. So we had the comfort, although it was a little bit difficult transferring, we... Uh, <laughs> Had the comfort we've got all our clothes with us this year which oh. was amazing right I, I just heard a horror story i'm not going to say who but i just heard a couple of horror hey, stories hey listen never so, check uh, yes. never check never check never check so what are you doing here in Cannes? what's the what's the big things on your agenda oh my gosh so many things we've got a whole raft of clients i just saw richard dickerson dickson um from mattel do an amazing talk at the palais this morning uh, we have a whole raft of clients that are doing various different panels and um, obviously lots of different really important meetings and advancements of their business. So very exciting time. Nice, nice. Uh, well, this is an important time as we think about the evolution of brand safety, digital safety, consumers, B2B. You know, a lot of these conversations that we have are us talking to each other, room full of people from the industry sharing stuff. And, and we're starting to hear that now is the time for us to take this conversation to the consumer. So you talk to a lot of brands. Do you agree and do you have any insight as far as how they're talking to their end customer about how they're keeping them safe online? I think it's about when it's relevant, right? So we, our, our clients run the gamut from finance right the way through to Barbie, right? And, and, and uh, everything in between, whether that be, you know, CPG soups and, and confectionery and all that sort of stuff. So there's all different things in between. I think. The reality of that is, though, it's about when you have the right to talk and whether you actually are contributing something um, to their lives and whether we even need to engage in that conversation. So if we're not capturing their data, mm -hmm. um, then we don't need to necessarily have that CCPA or GDPR conversation. Uh, however, I, I do think there's a, there's a balance there, right? Because if we start to talk about brand safety, I actually prefer brand suitability these mm -hmm. days. Um, then we start to think about how we start to convey that to people. You could take people into this kind of like hissy kind of confusion. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think with GDPR and with with data data protection, we almost the environment scared people into oblivion of oh my gosh, everything's bad if I ever give my name to anyone. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that you know brand suitability. It's about having the right to play, being in the right space, and ensuring that you're connecting it to your brand purpose as well, right? Yeah. Um, you have to show up and walk the walk. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm probably reading off some of the things that Richard just talked about this morning because he talked about brand purpose a lot mm -hmm. and how if you stay committed to your brand purpose, then you ultimately will win. And, right. and you can keep that consistency throughout. So I think that also plays into this environment as well. Right. Is if it's connected to how you show up, how real you are, and how it's connected to your brand, mm -hmm. then you then you should be talking about it. Yeah, because I mean, data protection is a low hanging fruit, right? I mean, the privacy policy going from a, a maybe a short document to a long document to something that maybe is much more easily digestible that makes sense. But when you start thinking about mental health and youth safety and sustainability and all these other conversations, and brands are leading the charge on this, but then do their customers know? And 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 how do and they find out? I think again, it goes to you must be able to walk the walk. So we've got something at Pubasis called Alice mm -hmm. that enables us to look at the carbon impact and and the eco ecological impact of every plan we make. Uh, so for me, that gets really exciting because I can deliver a plan and say this is how many kilograms that's going to that's going to deliver of, mm -hmm. of carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. And now what I need you to do is think about how you're going to offset that. Now, that only matters in terms of talking to the consumer mm -hmm. if you're going to actually walk the walk mm -hmm. and you're going to reinvest in that. So you have to be able to then make it happen and drive an action that the consumer cares about. So I think it's about understanding your consumer, driving your purpose and ensuring that you make good on your actions. Yeah, yeah, because more and more shareholders are demanding it. ESG requirements start to talk about mental mm -hmm. health and digital safety and sustainability. So all these things are really important to, to the brands and the consumers and, and us. And well, ultimately, if, if you don't take care of the well-being of your consumers, there won't be any consumers to, 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 to drive product to, right? So ha you have to think about it every facet. And I think diversity, equity and inclusion, we've made some great strides there we've still got more to do mm -hmm. um and i think that's as an industry i think we've done a lot ourselves but we've got more to do and then esg now is is a very hot topic and, and especially being cognizant of the way that you behave and the way that you show up yeah it's it's amazing i mean we sit in the center of the media world but really we touch so many different things because we're communicating
Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. That was great. Yeah. Thank great you. job. Thanks, everybody. That's the news.